Miguchi Spicky Skyrim, she's delicious tourist. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Today we are going to take a look at you and your person, my baby, whatever that means to you, baby. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. And let's take a look at tourists, sun, moon, rising, and Venus in their person. Please show me angels of love, what is happening with the situation. Also, tourists, with the Uber system, as you know, we are assuming some kind of a rift or separation with you and your baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this person thinks uh, this is hopeless, the tower. They got the, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I don't really take reversals, but I'll even take that. You know, they think it's hopeless, like more than hopeless. You know, tower upside down could be like, I mean, this is worse than hopeless. <laughs> a fate worse than a fate worse than hopelessness. <laughs> Wowzers. They're, in, they're kind of in hell too, you know? Like, they feel like you wish them well in hell, Taurus, which you probably did, and good for you, because that's a fixed sign thing. I'm a fixed sign just like you, Scorpio. We're opposites, but we're, we attract each other. <laughs> Let's just say that. I'm always manifesting Taurus into my life, and I love your energy, baby. Um, yeah, this is a fate worse than a fate worse than hopeless. <laughs> Let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. Yeah, someone wasn't 100% honest with you, and you did not appreciate that, baby. You got the moon here. They brought this on themselves. They know this is a ruin for them. They know they lost you. They know they had, this is a downfall because uh, of deception here with the moon. We'll see what this is all about. Uh, also, Taurus, uh, welcome to Pluto. Never mind your douche flute. It's okay. You got, you know how you go. You're so scrumptious, you got loads of options. Let me just say welcome to Lou and Joe Love Tarot, my baby. Uh, if you're new and if you are a returning boo boo, uh, thank you, I appreciate you, I love you, and I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. I love you so much, Taurus. I love you so, so much. Also, Taurus, uh, the prices for tarot reading specifically will be going up uh, at the end of the month, so now is a great time to grab a reading. Uh, the old pricing as well as information on how to reach out to me is in the description box below. Hmm. What was the deception regarding? Queen of Swords. Okay, bimbo. If it was a bimbo himbo, anyone in between, you met on Tinder on a Tuesday. You got the Queen of Swords, the Moon, and the Three of Cups between you. This is somebody who wasn't honest about their status. So they told you they're single, but they weren't, okay? They, you know, they still, they got an ex looming. Queen of Swords, King, anyone between, gender is totally arbitrary. They got an ex looming in their past. They're like, I'm divorced, but the divorce is not finalized. Or I'm single, but they're still talking to their ex. You know, something wasn't quite right. There are three people in this connection. For some of you, it could be that this person was uh, deceiving you. Uh, because they really wanted to be with you, but they weren't free, quote unquote, of an ex-partner because they still have dealings of some kind and they didn't explain to you the situation fully. So this is that classic case of like, yeah, we're divorced, but we're still living together for, you know, because of expenses and we're still raising our children together. So like the, there's an ex looming, it's like a shadow looming over their life. And they weren't honest about it because they didn't want to lose you and they wanted to get in there, baby. Let's, let's be clear on that. Uh, you retreated your energy, the four of pentacles, and good for you. You're like, okay, I, I, I don't know. There's weirdness here. Something came out, you know, the light came out because the tower is a big downfall and it's the light, you know, it's the light, lightning striking the tower is the light of truth, often harsh truth that needs to topple down uh, a house of cards or uh, a, a, a situation that cannot continue. Uh, if it was a more established connection, it could have been the, uh, the actually, no, not really. I still see an ex in this established connection, but somebody could, you know, if you were, let's say, married to this person or in a partnership or dating for a longer period of time, somebody was secretly talking to the ex and they didn't tell you. They were, they were having dealings with the next partner. Mm. I, for some of you, it was like nefarious feelings were involved. And for some of you, it was to do with money. This person was like giving money to an ex-partner because they owe that to them or like, you know, for child support or something. They weren't being 100% honest with you about it because they knew you wouldn't like it. Uh, or for some reason, an ex could have reached out like, um, what I'm getting here is somebody could have reached out because they were in some kind of trouble or needed a loan, needed money. And that person gave their ex-partner that money and didn't tell you. So you felt sure changed hair, but I think it came out. I think you counted, literally counted the money. Um, and if it's not money, it's something concrete they were giving to that person, you know, maybe time or attention. <clears throat> you know your story best, Taurus. I would say 
Mm, I think it's mainly like out of obligation that this person did it, but for some of you it will be like more nefarious, like they were trying to talk to them because they make them feel good, you were trying to like rekindle something here. So you know your story best. Uh, always remember, I'm just a random woman on the internet, take all these readings with a grain of salt. Never assume cheating. If you're watching a reading on the internet, never assume that someone's cheating because like, you know, some random woman told you so. If you have your own receipts, if you got the evidence, if you know this happened, then it's just confirmation to say, this is, you know, this is your story, baby. Also, the Six of Pentacles here and their intentions, they want to apologize for them. Terry's are ready to apologize. They're ready to get on their knees and apologize. They know they did you a bit, though. But they think this is so hopeless. They see you as someone who's moved away from them, turned away from them. You want to have nothing to do with this energy. You don't want to be shortchanged, Taurus. Taurus, you deserve, but this is the thing, you know, there's like the sense of being shortchanged with the Four of Pentacles in the past for you. And now this person wants to give you all the, the change and more, you know, they want to give you the Benjamins, like they want to give you more. The sun, this person will be uh, coming at you this summer to apologize a bit though. They're still in the energy that this is hopeless. There could have been a downfall or a big break or break up uh, around Aries season this year or Scorpio season last year for some of you. And now this person's coming this summer. By the end of Leo season, you're going to hear from them and they're going to try and clarify the situation. They're going to try and explain it. They're going to try and do the right thing now. And then Page of Cups, you know, this is someone who's hoping for a new beginning, improved communication and improved trust. And they're even, they might even say to you, like, you know, Taurus, I want you like, like, I love you so much. It's like, you're more than just a lover to me, you know, or, or a partner. You are my friend. I want us to be best friends. For some of you, they're going to say, I want to have a baby with you if you don't have a baby yet or a child. That's what they're going to say. They're going to say, please forgive me, Torrance, for I have sinned. Oh, every time I say that, I think of Madonna. Okay, anyways, that's enough. <laughs> TMI, TMI, TMI. All right, Torrance, this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification button because that really helps your mommy out. Also, Taurus, I haven't been posting uh, recently because I've been sick, so I had a little bit, a bit of a break from the YouTubes, and my AI overlords will penalize me to some extent, which I'm totally accepting of AI overlords. I love you. But they will penalize me a little bit. So if you want to help out my channel, don't, um, you know, don't hesitate to leave me a like on the video and a comment below. No matter what it is, I'll take it all. But if you leave me a comment, it's going to show you too that you're still watching and we're, st we're still vibing. And it's going to keep me in the algorithm and really, really help your mommy out. Uh, all right, Taurus. And for personal readings, like I say, all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay spiky, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Mm.